Okay, let's see if we get a picture. Yes, we do. Trying to find out what the sound fault is, and along here, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a there's a dry joint there. So what I need to do is reflow all of this row. And seem to be dry joint, there's dry joints all the way down that side. This side looks all right but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay I've reflowed quite a few of the um, dry joints. Let's see if it still makes noise. And it does. the soundboard out and I've reflowed all these connections that actually fit into the, the main board. So we'll see if that stops the noise that we were getting. All the components appear to be okay. I don't see any bulging capacitors or anything. They all look fine. No black resistors or anything on there. Let's see along this edge, they're all labelled to go in the board 12 volt, ground, etc. You see, there's the volume, audio, audio, ground, out, etc. See that all along this side. And there I think I'll put it back inside. Uh, before I do anything else, I'll give the connections a bit of a spray with contact cleaner. Switches. Don't know if I can hit it once at the front. Extension lead on my other soul can. Let's see how we can get on with that. Don't know if it'll work. Mm. 
so off. Choose your opponent. 